Did you see that? That's one piece of carry-on and one personal item for two weeks worth of travel in two countries with two climates and three parties. That pack allowed me to make four plane exchanges, including two boarding stairs, without any assistance from my hubby. Hi, I'm Perry from Perry's Passport. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the upside of traveling light. What suitcases I chose, what I did before the pack, what clothing I packed, and how I packed it. And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So without any further ado, let's go, let's go. First of all, let's talk about some of the advantages of packing light. If you print up your boarding passes before you get to the airport, you can go straight to the gate. And there's no waiting for luggage when you come off the plane. Another great benefit is that there is very little chance of your luggage getting lost. In most countries, cars are much smaller than they are in America. So less luggage means more of a guarantee that you'll get your luggage into the car. Now, another reason to pack light is that you have less to take with you as you go from place to place to place. This is very true on a multi-city vacation. And in reality, everything that I put into that pack is all you would need for weeks worth of travel. And once you get into the mindset of packing just that amount, you'll find it very liberating and you'll have a much less laundry to do when you get back home. Now on to the bags that I chose. First, you have to check out what your airline's allowances are for both personal and carry-on luggage. Now most airlines have a standard carry-on size of 22 by 14 by nine. Now let me tell you a little bit about the bag that I have. I have an away bag. Now I'm not sponsored by away. This was a personal choice. I have dragged that bag through cobblestone streets, upstairs, through elevators. There's hardly a scuff to the bag. It's totally well laid out. It has a compression side and a zippered side. The bag even has a laundry compartment so you can keep your clean stuff away from your dirty stuff. The wheels roll beautifully. I even fell over the top of the bag with the arms extended and I bent them a little bit. And within 24 hours of coming home, Away replaced the entire bag. Now, that's not a great guarantee. I don't know what is. Much to my surprise, and this is why you have to check it with the airlines, British Air has one of the smallest sizes allowed for a personal item. So the bag that I chose to take was my Bay's bag, which is pretty small. They call it the mini duffel, but it was the only bag that would have met the qualifications to allow me to bring it onto British Air. But personal size bags can vary greatly from airline to airline. Now I'm going to be including the various different airlines, personal item sizes in the description below. Next thing you should do is check for the current weather of the country that you're going to. Now, in our case, two weeks before our trip to Portugal, it said it was going to be beautiful and sunny. But four days before we were traveling to Portugal, it was going to rain every single day. And if we didn't check to see what the weather was going to be like, we would have been stuck, wet, and miserable. When it comes to choosing your clothing, pick clothing that works together. Now, some people call this a capsule wardrobe, but it doesn't mean it has to be monochromatic or in one color. It just means that it has to go and blend together. Another benefit of packing a capsule wardrobe, especially in the winter, is that you have layers that you can either combine together or wear alone. And that way you can be always prepared for whatever weather you have. Another good idea is to make a list of everything that you have not yet packed. That way, when you get to your destination, you'll have everything that you need. Finally, when packing, think of everything that you're going to put into your carry-on as items you will not have access to in the plane. And everything that you put into your personal item as the stuff that you're going to have access to. Now let's talk a little bit about packing cubes. Packing cubes are the key to keeping yourself organized on a trip, especially when you're moving from place to place to place. What I do is whatever I take off, I just 
put it right back into the cube that I took it from. And that way I never have to worry about it being out of place. Now I know there's some debate about whether you should pack your clothing flat or roll your clothing to get the maximum use out of your packing cubes. Now, what I have found is that some items do better rolled and some items do better laid flat. But one thing I will tell you is to pack to the width of the packing cube, whether you're rolling or you're laying flat. That way you get the maximum use out of the size of the packing cube. I also pack according to category. So I have my sweaters in one packing cube, my shirts in another packing cube, my pajamas and underwear and socks in another packing cube. And this way I always stay organized. For this pack, I packed seven sweaters in one packing cube. In the other cube, I packed nine tops consisting of six long sleeve shirts and three short sleeve shirts. And in the other cube, I packed all my undies, pajamas, and robe. Now I know that there's been a lot of talk about merino wool being wonderful for packing because it is wrinkle resistant and antimicrobial. But for people like me who have a wool allergy, I can't wear merino wool. But what I have found is that I can wear a cotton silk blend, a rayon blend, which rayon is made out of bamboo and cotton. All these items are also antimicrobial. I have a list of good clothing for packing in the description below that I think you might find handy. Now let's see how I packed my carry on. Now on the side of the bag that wasn't the cube side of the bag, I divided that in half. In the first half, I put five pairs of pants because I was going to be in two different climates, plus two lightweight jackets that went with all the clothing that I packed on the other side. And in the remaining quarter of the bag, I packed all my party wear that I was going to need for three nights worth of parties. I also had clothing that I could mix and match with that clothing that I could wear out to dinner when we were in Portugal. Now let me tell you about all the things that I didn't put into the bag. These are all my heaviest items. And that would include my raincoat with a removable liner, my scarf, my headband, and my gloves, which I put into the pocket of, of the jacket. And these got stuffed into the handle over my personal item bag. Now onto my personal item pack. So this is my Bay's bag which is compliant with British Air. Let me show you how I packed it. The bag has two main compartments. It has this compartment here and it has a shoe compartment at the bottom, which I use for things other than shoes also. So first, my dressy shoes, they go into a bag of their own. As it might imply, I'll put them in here. My ballet slippers, all weather, that I wear when I want to be nicer than my sneakers, but not quite as nice as those dressy shoes. I put that there. I stick my hair dryer here. This is my selfie pod. I put that here. My straightening iron here. An umbrella, because it is going to rain, and I checked. Got my hairbrush. My knee brace, and these are cushioned heels because, heck, I'm going to be walking a lot. And my toothbrush and a sealed container also. And that's the bottom of this bag. So now we're going to pack the main part of the bag. Now the way I do this is by an order of things that I need and or the pockets. So this is my crossbody bag. I put that at the bottom of this bag because I'm not going to need it in the plane. This is my emergency bag. This is just in case they have to take away my carry-on bag from me and then they lose it. And so I have clothing to wear when I get to where I'm going. So this contains a pair of pants, a sweater, a pair of underwear, a pair of socks, and pajamas. That's my second pair of pajamas for the trip. And I stick this at the bottom of the bag because I really hope I never need it. This bag, it contains more socks and underwear than I'll ever need. This is my crossbody bag that's also a wristlet. I also put that on the side here. I put my computer into the computer compartment here. Then I put in here, this is my magnifying mirror with light that goes into, you'll see there's a compartment here that goes in here, along with my pouch full of jewelry. Not that I wear much jewelry, put that there. 
and also my headphones, which I love. They also go there because they're an easy grab. And then I just zip that up. There's two other side pockets here. Put my phone in one. And I put the wipes for the tray in the bathroom, some tissues, and some personal wipes. This is for my medicine. I use a long one and I use each compartment for different pills. And I put that in a dead corner of the bag that is getting no use. This is my travel tech bag that I put on the other side. And then last but not least, my toiletry bag, because that can make you take that out at TSA. And I love this one because it has a hook, has a wet side, dry side, close it up, voila, and it's out of the way. And that's this part of the bag. One last item. This is my blanket that I talked about that I use so I don't have to use the Jeremy blankets. It's in here. Also in here is my backpack every day and my emergency oh my god I bought too many gifts for every one bag and I stick that in there too and then I zip it up and I just clip it onto the side here that's everything now the shoes that I don't pack are my heaviest shoes and in this case those were my waterproof Sorel sneakers they are not only waterproof but they have built-in arches and they're great for walking. They kept my feet totally dry in torrential rain. I can't even tell you how much I love these sneakers. I will be including them in the description below. Now, in our case, we were taking a night flight. And if you ever take a night flight, you wanna to dress totally comfortably. So what you wanna do is dress in layers. Now, I wore a short sleeve shirt with a long sleeve shirt and a wrap sweatshirt that I got from Athleta and this way I could take things on and off depending on the temperature of the plane because the plane's temperature will vary at different points from very hot to quite cold. It's something you want to consider. And that's it. You're ready to go. Now if I mentioned anything in this video it will be included with the links in the description below. If you're interested in my hubby's pack please leave it in the comments below. And also stay tuned for my next video, which will be how to plan a vacation, even if you've never taken one before, and you can do it by yourself without a travel agent. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye.